Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And what we're looking at is a small, what I call a portable water heater. It's basically a standby water heater uh, that normally I find under kitchen sinks. And what happens is, is usually they put them there uh, because the water heater is on the far side of the house, and it takes quite a while for hot water to reach that fixture. So what they do is they they put these smaller tanked water heaters underneath the kitchen sink uh, to service just that one fixture. Uh, now, one thing you have to keep in mind about these is anytime you have a tanked water heater, regardless of size, it has to have some sort of expansion uh, protection installed on it. And if you have a tanked water heater right now, if you go out there and take a look at it, you should see a, a tank that's on the top of it. And if you don't have that tank there, uh, then you, you don't have it, but you could have what's called an expansion relief valve too, uh, which is designed to uh, relieve that water heater of pressure uh, due to thermal expansion. And you probably say, well, wait a minute, uh, I have that already on there. And you may think that this is what that is right there. And you're partially right. Uh, that's called a, a TPV valve. Uh, that's designed to pop off at extreme high pressure or extreme high temperature, but it's not designed to open and close on a continuous basis. And so basically that will fail as a result if being open and closed uh, so many times. And not only that, it, it, there's a certain amount of pressure that has to be on that valve in order for it to relieve. And so if you have thermal expansion going on, inside this tank it may not be enough to actually activate the TPV valve but it's enough to cause the tank to fail and that's exactly what's happened in this case right here the basically this tank is ruptured uh, from lack of an expansion uh, valve being installed on it they do make a both a tank expansion system and also a valve uh, which you have to go out there and look at your water here to see which is there but if you don't have that on there you I recommend you put that on your water heater, especially if you have a tanked water heater, regardless of size, because it's it could very, it's a good possibility it's going to damage your plumbing system and can even cause a spectacular failure of your water heater as well. And uh, I know some people say, well, I've never had to have one of them before. Well, the thing is, uh, most of the municipalities uh, now have uh, check valves at the meter. And so the only place that pressure can go is on your plumbing system. And so it's just a matter of time before that happens. So, you know, that's why you should do this uh, to protect your plumbing system. But also, too, uh, if, you have, if you have a tankless system, which they do make some of these small uh, that are tankless, well, that eliminates that need for a, an expansion device. It's only on tank systems where you have to have some sort of uh, expansion protection on them. So anyway, I hope this has been somewhat beneficial and informative. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this, and take care, guys.